Dear students, now we are going to discuss class AB amplifier in detail. In class AB amplifier, the transistor operates between the two extremes called class A and class B amplifiers. That means the transistor is on for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree for a given AC input signal. So we can define this class AB amplifier like this, the power amplifier is said to be class AB amplifier if the output signal is obtained for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree for a full cycle of AC input signal. So this is the diagram to represent this class AB amplifier. So in this diagram, we can give the full cycle of AC input signal we can get the output for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Do you all understand this one? So in this class AB amplifier, the conduction angle is between 180 degree and 360 degree. So in this class AB amplifier, the Q point that is the operating point of the transistor is placed above the X axis but below the midpoint of the load line. So here this load line is very important characteristics in transistor circuit. That load line is drawn between the output parameters, the collector current and the collector emitter voltage. So here this is the AC load line. In this AC load line, we can get or position the Q point just above this X axis but below the midpoint. Do you all understand this concept? In case of class A amplifier, the Q point is positioned at this midpoint. Correct? For class B, it is positioned on this X axis. But for this class AB, it is placed above this class B amplifier but below this class A amplifier. That's what given here. The Q point is placed between the active region of class A amplifier and cutoff region of class B amplifier. Okay, so here we can use this class AB amplifier to overcome the drawback of class B amplifier. You will understand this concept. So here we can get that IC that is collector current between 180 degree and 360 degree. Do you all understand the circuit? Next operation of class AB amplifier. As I told you, class AB amplifier is mainly used to eliminate the crossover distortion in class B amplifier. For that, we have to ensure that in class AB amplifier, a small amount of current flows even at zero input signal to the circuit. Also, whenever an AC input signal is given, the transistor starts conducting immediately. Hence, we can Eliminate the crossover distortion. Do you all understand this concept? So this is the circuit diagram of class AB amplifier. It is similar to class B amplifier. There is an additional component in this class AB. That is the emitter stabilizing resistor. So this emitter stabilizing resistors are mainly used to bias the transistors in such a way it can conduct only for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Do you all understand this concept? Hence, we can get the Q point is between the range of class A and class B. Okay, so that's what given here. So here emitter stabilizing resistors are used. The transistors Q1 and Q2 both are biased in such a way that both can conduct for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. So hence the crossover distortion is eliminated in this class AB amplifier. As we know that the Q point of this class AB amplifier is placed in between the range of class A and class B that is the active region of class A and cutoff region of class B amplifier. Its efficiency is greater than class A amplifier and slightly less than class B amplifier without any crossover distortion. That is the very important point here because it is mainly used to eliminate the crossover distortion in this class B amplifier. So here 
the efficiency of this class ab amplifier is greater than 50 percentage but less than 78.5 percentage so this is the major advantage of this class ab amplifier